All right, this is uh, Unit 5, Topic 2. Uh, this is a new packet, um, Solving Systems of Equations with Two Equations and Two Unknowns. Uh, I, once again, don't have my slide with home with me, so I'm going to just write out everything. Not a lot to do in terms of new things today. Um, the first thing is a warm-up. So your warm-up that I would like you to do, uh, first problem is to solve uh, y equals 3x minus 13 and 2x plus 2y equals negative 10. Um, the second problem you're going to solve is 2x minus 6y equals 19 and negative 3x plus 2y equals 10. So go ahead and pause uh, the video, solve this, um, and then unpause it and we can watch the solution. All right, so this first one is already solved for a variable, so we're going to do this by substitution. So I'm going to take this y in this equation here and replace it with the expression for y, which is 3x minus 13. Again, this is exactly what we did back in Algebra 1. Doesn't change. It's just a matter of reminding yourself that you remember it. 2x plus 3 times 2, which is 6x, minus 26, equaling negative 10. Your like terms are your x terms. 2x plus um, 6x is 8x. I'm going to add 26 to both sides. And we have 8x equaling negative 10 plus 26, which is 16. Again, this is a unit where you're allowed to have your calculator, so you don't need to remember that. Get our y. We're going to take that x equals 2 and plug into the opposite expression here. You can put it into the original, you can put it into this one or this one, but this one's already solved for y, so it's a little bit less work. So y is going to be equal to 3. Again, we're going to replace the x with the 2 here, times 2, minus 13. And 6 minus 13, negative 7. So our solution is 2, negative 7. Okay, second one here. Standard form, standard form. So I would definitely do this by elimination. We want to either make the x's or the y's opposite each other. So you could multiply this one by 3 and this one by 2, and that would make the opposite, uh, x's opposite. But the easier thing to do here is to look at the y's. This is a negative 6y. If I just multiply this equation by 3, we want a 6y in front of 6 in front of this y. 3 times 2 is going to give you that 6. Or again, you can eliminate the x's by multiplying this one by 3 and this one by 2. Your choice. Nothing changed on the first one. We basically distribute that 3 to each term. It becomes negative 9x plus 6y equals 30. Again, you don't do elimination unless either the x's or y's are opposite. And in this case, we do have our y's opposite each other. So we're going to have 2 minus 9x, uh, 2x minus 9x, which is negative 7x, equaling 49. When we divide by negative 7, my x value of the solution is negative 7. To find the y value, pick one of the original equations and plug x equals negative 7 into one of them. So let's just do 2x minus 6y equals 19. Again, you could have picked the other one. That all is fine. And you replace this x value with that negative 7. So 2 times negative 7 minus 6y. We're going to add 14 to both sides. Negative 6y is equal to 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. Uh, let me just make sure I didn't make any errors here because these are ugly numbers. It doesn't mean the ugly numbers are wrong. I just want to make sure I didn't make an error in my solving. This is 49. This is negative 7. 2 times negative 7 minus 6 equals 19. All right. Well, it's an ugly answer. Y equals... Now, you do not want to put the answer um, 33 over negative 6. You don't want to put the answer as a non-terminating decimal. So if you want to write that as decimal and it's a terminating decimal, it's fine. But if you do 33 over negative 6, I believe that's an ugly answer. Um, 33. Yeah, I mean, that's... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. 
this is not what on. That's negative five and a half, or negative 5.5. If it's a terminating decimal, you can write it like that. You can write it or negative seven, negative 5.5, because that's a terminating decimal. Any of these three are fine. Okay, so it just looks uglier than it actually is. What are you gonna do today? Well, what you're gonna do today is the classwork during class. So we have a full long period, this period. Yesterday was kind of shortened with the, at least in 2023, it was a shortened day. Um, you're gonna complete page six. I'm gonna show you page six. That's our classwork. You're gonna do it and then check answers. And again, you can check your answers um, online if class has already occurred. Um, the class notes should show them. Uh, and then the homework is the same homework we had uh, yesterday, which is page four. You had done the odds and you're gonna be doing the evens now. Or if your teacher told you to do evens, you're doing odds. You're just doing whatever the opposite is. This thing had said odds, so this should be evens. So let me show you those problems. And again, if you were at home and you don't have a packet yet, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is copy these problems down. Um, yeah, they're not here. Um, let me load them. Okay, here we go. All right, so that was our warm up. This is our classwork. So again, pull out your camera, take a picture of this page. There are nine problems to solve. That's classwork, okay? And then the homework, again, if I'm going too fast, pause it, take a picture with your camera. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Maybe that'll help you a little bit. Okay, you can see a little bit better now. Okay, so this is uh, the classwork on page six. Then um, your homework, and again, you need to practice this. Um, homework is gonna be two pages before. Um, is it gonna show up here? I'm gonna have to pull the other one up. Nope, I'm gonna have to pull up the other one. Okay, on page four. And on page four, you're gonna be doing the evens now. So 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, and 52. So you can take two pictures, you can take a picture of that, uh, copy that down, take a picture of this, or you add your 50 and 52, and that's your homework. Have a good day.